Yo, hey guys, um, just wanted to make a quick video about this classic ladder, um, this is not really a tutorial, this is more, um, for someone so he can help me, but, um, anyway, <coughs> so, what I've got is I've got a, um, watch my other video and you can see my tool changer, it's a random position side mount tool changer for a CNC mill. Um, so I'll just go through this and explain it as I go I think. Um, need to bring up the bit status. Okay so on, with this bit status you can toggle your buttons back and forth and um, you can avoid having to physically connect buttons to the classic ladder file for now. Though I have connected some you can see um, I've, con I've connected some stuff just to make it work good, make, to make it look good. Um, okay, so this, just imagine you've randomly started up this, um, this tool changer. Now, first, the first button is, um, is mag home, uh, mag four, you can see all the things and you can toggle it and see the actual numbers. But, um, anyway, this is not really a tutorial, this is just a video. So... I've got a bit of paper beside me which corresponds to these numbers to the signals so um, I can leave the signals here for you guys to look at and I can just click the numbers on my bit of paper so first thing I need to do is mag home so there's B2 so um, when I first turn on Linux CNC and I home the machine um, I can home the magazine as well so home the magazine um, it's a Ryzen trigger contact so you can't see the line which I discovered. So um, that turns on, you can see up on the top of my screen, um, oh, just close that, that closes, I mean, sorry, that um, turns on my output number one which is magazine forward. So imagine the tool changes spinning around all the time at the moment, um, this pocket here, this pocket sensor there's a pocket sensor on the side of my tool changer and that counts every time I go past the pocket. So if I just click B5, which is that one, um, so you can just sit here and um, my tool, just imagine my tool changer is going around in circles at the moment. Um, at some point in this circuit, it would go past the home sensor, which is here, magazine home sensor. So, magazine home sensor is B3. So, that would um, just reset it. So, pushing ma when it goes past magazine home, the tool changer zeroes the count, uh, resets the counter. Um, and this comparison thing down here, um, that is a, um, an output to Linux CNC to tell it that the machine is homed. So it homes and then it tells Linux, Linux CNC that it's homed. Um, then I've got a counter here. So, um, <clears throat> what am I doing? So, if we just imagine we, um, oh, we'll just stop that. Okay. So imagine, um, I go up the top. Imagine then I kick the thing into. I haven't got the rest of this logic, but imagine I start turning the tool change in, into forward rotation. So it's home now, it knows where it is. So magazine forward, which is B4. So um, when I push forward, um, yeah, when I turn on forward, it turns on the output. Now, where are we? So same thing here, when I push the pocket, when I go past the pocket counter sensor, um, B5, you can see down here, um, oh, I was pointing at the screen, that doesn't work, I'm doing a screen recording, you can see um, down around this counter that um, it's just going past and counting, and if you look over here, this classic ladder S32 out bit, um, or integer number, this goes out to... It's not connected yet, but this would go out to one of these I.O. control buttons and it would tell them what tool number. I don't think I need to do that actually, but um, anyway, <clears throat> no, we'll leave that for now. Um, 
So the counters start from zero. So what I've got is I've got them going to um, going to twenty three since I've got twenty four tools. So and then I've got an, a a variable here down here which um, that percent Q W zero is um, assigns that value four there from the counter number one. Oh, I've got that set up wrong. Okay, that's going from this one here. But um, anyway, <clears throat> this uh, this is set up wrong, but I'll fix that. So um, oh no, no, that's right, that's right. Sorry, um, that percent Q W zero is not that. That that uh formula goes uh means that number there. Classic ladder S thirty two out. So um, that equals. CL dot V, which is um, the current value of this counter plus one, which adds one to the count. Um, anyway, so sorry if that was confusing. So um, if we just carry on, um, you can see my counter is going around and it's counting. Now, when it gets to 24, which is how many tools I've got in the tool changer. So if we look at that number there, look at that one. Um, it's at 24, then it goes back to 1. This one here goes on 23 to 0, but that's fine. And then it carries on counting, and it would just keep looping and looping and looping, but give me the current number. Um, from this stage here, I think the next thing I need to do is do a comparison between the value that Linux CNC tells me it wants and the value that I'm currently at. And then, if they're the same, do nothing. If they're not the same, then um, I need to go, I need to move it until they are the same. So rotate until they're the same. And I think if I did that, um, that's all I need to do really. And then I'd have a tool changer that homes and then positions itself. Um, so yeah. This is my first time doing a screen recording uh, YouTube video as well off my screen. So uh, the video quality should be good, but um, hopefully the the um, audio is all syncing in nice. But yeah, um, that's how uh, 101 with Classic Ladder from what I've learned so far. Um, I plan on making some decent videos once I, once I get all this Classic Ladder PLC stuff sussed. Um, I want to do it. Help everyone else out who gets stuck in the future. But um yeah.